And your last breath in and out of the side. Release your hands. Let your head come back to center. And take your right hand and take it over to that left knee. Bring your left hand out really long and wrap it behind you. Settle it down behind your left hip and let yourself come up nice and tall. So press into your left thigh, press into the floor behind you and extend long through the spine again. Big breath in and as you exhale, maybe your torso turns a little bit more to the left. Keep your chin tucked in and let your gaze go down towards the floor. Big breath in and exhale, keeping that twist. One more breath in and out. Inhale, we're going to bring that left arm all the way up and we're going to cross it over our body so they can touch the knees and we'll start to round in through the back. Drop that chin in really far towards your chest and come into a cat back. So your hips are coming forward. Full breath in and out. Inhale, lift up nice and slow. And just do a few shoulder shrugs here. Nice job. Give yourself a pat on the back for showing up on your mat. And we're going to go ahead and outstretch those right fingertips nice and long. Lift the left arm up and drop the left hand so it comes to your right temple. Inhale, tall. Exhale. And let the left ear come to the left shoulder. Let the fingertips stretch out on the right side. And again, option to close your eyes. Breathing in deeply, you'll feel your chest lift. And as you exhale, feel the belly pull in towards your spine. Releasing any tension that you're holding in your shoulders. Two more breaths here. Last one. Slowly release that left hand. Go ahead and bring the left hand over to that right knee. Again, wiggling through your shoulder, keeping it settled down. And then we'll bring that right hand, swing it all the way behind you, place it behind that right hip, and press up nice and tall. I always like to give my shoulder a little circle, but make sure I'm keeping it down. Find the length in your spine again, and as you exhale, find a little bit more in your twist. Inhale, the chest lifts up a little bit higher. And exhale, deepening into your twist. Last time, inhale nice and tall. And exhale, big twist. Inhale, starting to release. We're going to lift the right arm up, cross it over the body, and tucking the chin in again, round through the back. Inhale deeply, and exhale, side out. Inhale, coming all the way up, and again, a nice shoulder shrug, or two or three. We're going to bring the right hand down, and we're going to finger walk our hands all the way over, as far as you like. 
Left hand can stay on your hip. We're just going to take a nice side stretch here. If it feels good to keep that left hand on the hip, keep it there. Keep a nice bend to your right elbow. Another option, you can lift your left arm up and reach it over. Maybe take your gaze down to that right hand. Full breath in and out. Inhale, come back through center. Shimmy the shoulders and we'll take it over to the left. So start to spider walk those hands. Right hand comes to that hip to begin. Nice bend in that left elbow. Stretching through the side body. Again, your option, lift that right arm up nice and tall. Exhale, deepening through that stretch in the side. Take your gaze down to those left fingers. Keeping the chest open. Inhale, let's come back. Hands reach out. Inhale, arms all the way up. And as you exhale, let's bring them out in front of us and walk our hands forward. So your hips press back towards the back of your mat. Fingertips are coming forward and your torso is still lifted up nice and tall. Your gaze is down at the floor to keep a nice alignment with your spine. Big breath in and out. Inhale, start to walk the hands up. And I always like to switch the cross of my legs and feel it on both sides of your hips. So just settle yourself back down. Inhale, lift the arms up nice and tall. Exhale, reach forward. Start to crawl those hands forward once more. Take your gaze down, keep that alignment. Let that tailbone press into the mat. Lift through the torso. Last breath. Inhale, start to walk yourself back up. We're gonna take the right leg out nice and long. Toes are gonna to flex back towards you. Again, this is where you can bring in a towel if you want. Loop it around that foot if that feels good. You don't really need to. We're coming into head to knee pose. So we're going to start to turn our torso to face those toes, bringing those hands in that fingertip position right next to it. Keep a soft bend in your knee. Inhale, sitting up super tall. Exhale, let's lean forward. Reaching our chest forward. Again, tuck that chin in. And let your head reach for those toes. On your inhales and exhales, notice your back body lifting and lowering. Three more breaths on the side. Three. Two. And one. Nice job, everybody. Let's start to walk ourselves back upright. We're going to go ahead and bring our forearm to the inside of this right leg. Again, we're going to keep our left hand on that hip like we did a little while ago. And we'll slide that left arm down the inside of the leg, coming into a revolved Janu Shushasana. I again like to roll that shoulder back if you can. Keeping it open, the chest is coming forward. You can keep your hand on your hip, or if you want to inhale, lift it all the way up and reach over. Your gaze can come down, or you can lift it up and take a peek at your palm. Either way, try to keep your heart coming forward. Keep your breath soft. Three more breaths here. Three, two, and one. Slowly upright yourself. Bring your hands down to your side again. 
find your shimmy. We'll slide that right leg in to meet the left. Soles of your feet come together. Hands are coming to your shins. I like to wiggle wobble a little just to find my balance and symmetry. Roll those shoulders up. Find the length in your spine one more time. Let your chin come into your chest. Maybe give a smile. Inhale tall and as you exhale, start to lean forward with your collarbone. Maybe spread your toes out a little bit wide. Full breath in and out. Last breath. Inhale, start to upright yourself. And we'll extend the left leg out nice and long, bringing the right hand, or not right hand, right sole of your foot in towards that left thigh. Again, wiggling around so you're squared up. So your hips and torso are facing those left toes. Toes come back to you. Inhale, nice lift through the body. Exhale, we're gonna lean forward, finding our fingertips. Letting our chest come towards that left side. Don't forget each side of your body is different. So honor it. Maybe you just stay up a little bit higher on this side. It's totally up to you. Three more breaths. Three, two, one. Inhale, let's bring it upright. Shift ourselves again. Left forearm comes to the inside of the left leg. Right hand comes to that right hip. Roll that right shoulder, keep it down nice and soft. And we'll slowly slide the left hand towards the left toes. Again, you can keep your hand on your right hip if that feels good, or if you'd like to lift it all the way up and take it over. You can bring your gaze up towards your palm or down towards your toes. Either way, keep your shoulders soft, keep your heart open. Three more breaths here. Three. Two. And one. Inhale, come back to center. Hands come at your side. Go ahead and slide the left foot in. Let's take that cobbler pose, Baddha Konasana, one more time. Again, roll your shoulders up, pressing into your hips. Hands come to your shins. Nice length in your spine. Start here. Drop your chin, separate your teeth. Big breath in. Exhale, let's lean forward. Elbows can press into your thighs. Inhale. And exhale. Let your head and tailbone go opposite from each other. Two more breaths. Nice job, everybody. Inhale, let's bring it back up. Let's bring the knees together. Nice. And I'm going to switch my position. So knees come together. And we're just going to bring our hands down to our hips and drop our knees over to the left side. Inhale through center, dropping them over to the right. Inhale back to center and dropping them over to the left. And to the right one more time. 
Nice job. We'll come back to center. Hands stay next to your hips. Roll your shoulders again. I love rolling my shoulders, especially when I'm stressed out. Start to lean back just a little bit. Hands are on the mat. On your next inhale, start to lift through that right foot. Coming into a half a boat pose. Press through the heel. Little core work. Full breath in. And exhale, go ahead and lower down. Inhale, lift up that left foot. Nice and tall. Maybe turn up the corners of your mouth. Inhale. And exhale. Nice job. Now we're going to keep our hands down. Right next to our hips. Inhale, lift up both feet. Press through the heels. Full breath in, lift through the chest. And exhale, lower down. Bring your feet in, wrap your arms around, and let's give a little hug here. Go ahead and tuck your chin in towards your chest. Maybe shift your neck from side to side, nice and gently. And exhale. Bring your feet out in front of you a little bit further. Hands come back down to the side. Let's take that boat pose again. So roll your shoulders up, down, and back. Hands can stay down on the floor. Lift through both heels. Knees can be soft. If you'd like, bring your hands up. Full breath in and out. Full breath and out. One more time, we got this. Full breath. And out. Go ahead and lower your hands and the soles of your feet. Nice work. We're going to swing ourselves around, coming into a tabletop position with a nice strong table. Wrists are underneath the shoulders, knees are underneath the hips. And we'll do a few rounds with cat and cow. So letting the hips come up, drop the belly. Again, roll those shoulders and look up towards the ceiling. Exhale. Big breath out, round through the back. Drop the head and neck through the biceps. Maybe give a wiggle. Inhale, coming up nice again into your cow pose. Exhale, breathe into your cat. And take that one more time. Pull me back in a neutral spine. Nice strong table lifting through the belly. We're going to press back through those right toes. Finding all five toes, pressing in. On your inhale, lift that right leg up. Nice and tall. Coming right out of your hip. And as you exhale, we're going to swing those right toes across the left. Let the toes land on the floor. And we're going to come down to our forearms. Inhale tall. Exhale, we're going to press back into those right toes. Feel a nice stretch through the hips. Using the strength of your forearms. Press the hips back a little bit further. Full breath in and out. One more breath. Inhale, let's bring ourselves back up. Bring that right leg back down underneath us. Nice job, left leg comes back this time. Find the toes, press through left toes. Keep your elbows soft, and on your inhale, let's lift up through that left leg. Press into the heel, nice long line. Inhale, as you exhale, go ahead and bring those left leg across the right. Pressing into those left toes, we'll come down onto our forearms again. Inhale, pulling up through the belly. 
Exhale, press back a little bit. Inhale, feel the lift in your backside. Exhale, feel the press into the toes and hips. And last time, inhale, lifting a little through the torso. Exhale, press back through the hips and toes. Inhale, we'll make our way back to our table. Left leg comes back underneath us. Nice job. We're going to bring that right foot forward, coming into a low lunge. So no props are needed really for this one, but if you'd like, you can always bring in blocks or small pillows to keep next to you to help balancing out. So the legs are spread apart nice and wide. Right knees over the right ankle. We're going to stay down nice and low. If you want, find that little grazing with your fingertips again. You can roll your shoulders, lifting you up a little bit higher. Inhale deep and exhale. Two more breaths here. And exhale, we're going to lower down. Hands come to the mat. We're going to start to shift back through the hips, straightening out the right leg. Let the right toes lift off the mat. Again, if you always want to come back to that shoulder roll, let your chin drop in, right toes flex back, chest comes forward. Inhale, lift through the back body. Exhale, lower down towards your thigh. Inhale, let's come back forward. Find that low lunge one more time. Bring the hand on the inside, just so we can swing that right leg around to meet the left. Let the toes come together and spread the knees out nice and wide. And we'll set back down so our hips rest onto our heels. Arms come out nice and long in front of us. Let your head rest on the mat. And maybe come onto your fingertips. Notice when you breathe in, you're lifting through the back. And as you exhale, sink in a little bit further towards your mat. One more breath. On your next inhale, we'll rise back into our tabletop position, bringing the knees forward. And we'll lift the left leg, bring the left knee over the left ankle. Again, nice spacing between both legs. Find your balance. Hands can stay down on the mat. Or if you prefer, you can rise up. Let your fingertips dangle next to you. Full breath in and out. Nice long spine. Inhale. Exhale. One more breath in. And as you exhale, start to lower your hands down. Shifting the hips back. Straightening the left leg. And if you want to find that rotation with the shoulders, flex the foot back towards your knee, drop your chin in, find the length in the spine. Keep the breath super soft. Last breath here. Inhale, let's come back forward. Bring that left 
hand on the inside of your left foot just to make room so we can swing that left knee back to meet the right. Let's bring our hands in front of us, coming into a modified plank. So we're going to roll those shoulders if you'd like. Knees are down, toes can be curled or uncurled, it's up to you. Just find the strength here in this position. Let your gaze come down towards your thumbs. Inhale, as you exhale, we're going to lower down halfway. Inhale, lifting up. Exhale, lower down halfway. Inhale, come up. Exhale, halfway. And back up. Two more times. Exhale, halfway. And back up. And this time we'll exhale, coming down and making our way all the way down to the mat. Can extend your legs out a little bit longer behind you by lifting and lowering. I'm going to bring our elbows underneath our shoulders. Fingers are going to come out from our elbows. Nice and wide hands. Toes can rest and press into your mat. Lifting up through the chest. Let your collarbones lift forward. And again, take your gaze in between your thumbs. As you breathe in, feel your belly press into the mat. And exhale, feel it pull away. Three more breaths here in the Sphinx Pose. One more breath. Inhale, as you exhale, we're going to start to lower ourselves down. Hands are going to come just underneath our shoulder blades. Still looking down, curling our toes. We're going to inhale, come back to our table, and then lift our hips, coming all the way into our downward dog. So lifting up nice and tall through the hips, pedaling your feet out. Taking your time here, maybe shaking your head yes and no. And then find some stillness in your down dog. On your next exhale, go ahead and drop down on the right knee. Adjust your glasses if necessary. And we're going to turn the left sole of the foot so it comes down to the mat. Lifting our left arm off the mat. You can bring your hand to your hip, or you can lift and bring that arm all the way up. Inhale deep. And exhale. We're going to drop that hand underneath our arm. Inhale, lifting up again. Left foot is pressing into the mat. Inhale. Exhale, bring it down and under. And one more time. Exhale, lower that arm underneath. Inhale, lifting it all the way up. Exhale, bring that hand down. And come back into your table. I'm shifting my view so it looks okay on the camera. So don't mind me. And we'll go ahead and find our down dog one more time. So again, lifting through the hips, pedaling your feet, and then finding your stillness. Inhale, and as you exhale, drop the left leg. So the knee comes to the mat. Left arm is underneath the left shoulder. 
Right sole of your foot comes all the way to the mat, parallel to that short edge. Right hand can come to your hip, or you could begin to bring it all the way up. Take a full breath in, and as you exhale, go ahead and drop that right arm underneath. Inhale, lifting up high. Exhale, drop it under, pressing into your feet, and bring it back up. One more time, and bring it all the way back up. Exhale, bring that hand down, bring your knees apart, and we'll settle back for one more child's pose. Hips come down towards the heels. Let's stay up top on our fingertips this time. Inhale, tall, and as you exhale, we're going to spider walk our hands over to the left. Lifting through the backside, letting your head come down so you can gaze at the floor. Inhale, let's walk our hands back towards the middle. And exhale, keep it coming over to the right. Nice tall on your fingertips. Exhale, sink in. Inhale, lifting and coming back to your center. We'll walk our hands back upright. Crossing our ankles. Bring your legs out long in front of us. Inhale, lifting our ups, arms up nice and tall like we did earlier. Keeping our knees soft. This time we're going to exhale, lean forward. Hands come to either side. Chin draws into your chest, shoulders are soft. Inhale, tall. Exhale, release. Inhale, tall. And exhale to release a little bit deeper. And last time, nice and tall. And let it come back down. Inhale, upright yourself. Nice job, everybody. Bring the soles of your feet down. Bring your arms up, and we'll take it super slow. Inhale, lifting up through the chest, and as we exhale, slowly, 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 making our way all the way down to the mat. Really engaging your abdominals and using your breath. Nice job. Too long for this mat. So once we make our way all the way down, let's go ahead and bring that left leg in. Pull it in nice and tight. Take your right hand, place it on top of your left knee, and bring that left arm out nice and long to a half a T position. Inhale as you exhale, bring that left leg across your body, finding a twist. Full breath in, bend out, maybe taking your gaze over your left shoulder. Inhale, let's come back to center. Hold that left knee in one more time. And then send it nice and long. We'll bring the right leg in. Give a good hug to that knee. And then when you're ready, take the left hand, wrap it around that right knee, right arm comes out to a half a T. And exhale, bring that right leg across your body. If you want, you could bring your gaze over the right shoulder and find your twist here. Inhale, come back 
to center. Hug that right knee in. And we'll tuck both the legs in and rock from side to side just a little bit. And then when you're ready, you can go ahead and send your legs nice and long towards the edge of your mat. Bringing your hands out to either side. Palms facing up. Separating your teeth. And beginning to come into your Shavasana pose. Stay in your Shavasana. Keep your gaze down or your eyes closed. And I will share just a few words from a website I like called healingbrave.com. Be still, look and listen. Even a mind must rest to create its best. So do not worry, dear heart, head and hands. You will have your season to work and to play. And there is time enough for all, every single day. There is time to make no plans. Stop waiting to start living. Stop time and be lived. Hear the sweet melody of your stillness and the music that it gives. With lots of love and gratitude, namaste.